Welcome, welcome! This is Mud Dog with the Texas Space Navy bringing you another Star Citizen Ship Rundown video. And today we're going to talk about uh, a really cool ship. <clears throat> this is a heavy fighter. It's uh, the Vanguard. Over on the right you can see the Vanguard Warden and on the left is the Vanguard Hoplite. The Hoplite is the dropship, vari dropship variation. Now, <clears throat> something that I always thought of whenever I saw this ship was the movie Aliens. It just reminds me so much of the dropship that they used to come down to the planet. Only I, you could, I guess it's a little bit smaller. <coughs> so, without further ado, let's go ahead and take a closer look at these two ships. Again, these are going to be heavy fighters in the game. Heavy fighters that, are, that also have the ability to go long range. In other words, they can go several jump points. And they're designed to take a beating and be able to limp back home so they you could literally have most of your ship shot off and still be able to make it home according to the write-up the, the concept for it now I don't actually have the hopolite that one is a variant that uh, I, I got gifted I guess so to speak uh, is a loner ship so we'll mostly touch on the Warden. Um, as you can see, we'll walk around it here. Don't mind all the posters on the floor. This is the Warden. It's got a nice, uh, pretty good size to it for a fighting vessel. You're going to see it's got four engines in it that are right here. And then I believe those count as engines as well. angled wings here and then what you'll notice too is it's got a turret on top which looks like it's missing a weapon those appear to be size 2 yeah badger repeaters it's got these four size 2 laser guns here those are very fixed and then I like to run this M7A laser cannon on the front. The thing is a beast. It's a size 5 laser cannon. So when you hit something with it, it usually goes tumbling. And you see I've got one over here on this Hoplite as well. Really no difference uh, except for some of the armament on these two ships. You see this one's using uh, saw bucks and a little bit of the paint scheme. And I'll show you the difference inside as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at the inside. And you can see it does have quite a few missiles as well. I believe you can actually carry up to size 4 missiles in this thing which should destroy just about anything in one shot that's in the game right now. So we're going to go ahead and open up here. slide in the door here. Now this is the engineering station. So this is a multi-crew ship technically. You can run it with one person but I would advise two to three people in this ship. The uh, reason why is you want to have a pilot. You want to have somebody to operate the turret and it probably would not hurt to have somebody running the engineering station. This is spot for small arms here. You do have a couple of beds in here. Your lockers, your sink, and your shower and stuff is going to be right here. So it is possible to go on long hauls in this ship. And then this is the, going to be the cockpit region. As you can see, let's go ahead and get in the pilot seat. You got all the MFDs here. Systems green. Your HUD. And we'll take a look at a little bit more of an aerial view here.
as you can see, it's a pretty decent sized ship, lots of armament, makes it very tough in a fight. And this is about it for the Vanguard. We'll check out the turret here. See your visibility from the turret. Got the Aegis design there. So you got MFDs, three of them here, with this turret. Radar up in the upper left hand corner. And of course you'll get a little bit of a HUD in the, in the game. Let's go check out the Hoplite. We'll be brief with it. It doesn't have a whole lot of difference between the two. Remember the Hoplite is designed as a dropship. So it's not usually going to go a long haul. Check this bad boy out. As you can already see, the door back here is slightly bigger. <coughs> so you can actually get your Marines out. And then you have all these jump seats here. As you can see. Strapped in. So you should have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six jump seats. Lots of ammo racks there, or, or uh, gun racks. The turret is up top here. And then again, you get the pilot area over here. So that is the Hopalite in a nutshell. And we'll take one quick look around the Hopalite and we'll call it a video. If you like my videos, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Maybe even tell your friends about it and share. If you're new to Star Citizen and it's a game you think you might be interested in playing, you can go to robertspaceindustries.com and sign up there. If you use my referral code, which I'll put down in the description, you'll also get a bonus 5,000 credits starting the game. And if you're interested in joining an org, I'll put my org information down below as well. I appreciate you guys. Again, this is Mud Dog with the Texas Space Navy. This is the Vanguard Ship Rundown for Star Citizen, and we'll see you out in the verse.